All right, guys. So our next point of discussion is going to be the uh, reveal in Thor issue eight. Um, if it's technically a spoiler, but I'm pretty sure like it's been all over the web. So if you don't want to know, and for whatever reason you're reading that story, see you guys later. Please leave a comment. Come back when you're done reading it. All right, from here on out, spoilers on what's been going on with the uh, all new Thor, the female Thor, whatever you want to call her. Spoiler time. All right, so the reveal, Jane Foster. I have a plethora <laughs> of issues with it. The biggest of which was the fact that in the very beginning when Thor's making his dumb list, Jane's like, I won't use magic to heal myself. Then, somehow, <laughs> got from Asgard while under, like, under guard to make sure she doesn't die, got to the moon somehow again, and picked up Mjolnir, and she's apparently worthy. Like, all right, I get it. In an alt-world what-if comic, Jane picked up the hammer. But, like, I don't understand. Like, I have kind of, in my opinion, the criteria for what become like, what a person has to be to become worthy. And granted, we're still missing a lot of data on it. Like, in uh, Original Sin, we had whatever the hell Nick Fury told Thor. Which, I'm going to take my speculation, it was probably Nick Fury was warning him about what would come with the end of the world, this new Secret Wars stuff. He was probably like, you have the choice between either, you know, wiping out trillions to save yourself, or... Watching your world be destroyed. I see like Thor couldn't come to a decision that made him unworthy. But I generally like the new man Thor, we'll call him, I guess. Odinson. I find it really stupid that they're like, oh, Thor's a title. Thor's never been a title. I don't, it's like weird. That'd be like if, I don't know, when Azrael became Batman, they were like, I'm just Bruce Wayne now. Fuck you. <laughs> just like showed up at his job he's like yeah I'm the new CEO fuck you that's like if uh, it's like if Optimus Prime gave the Matrix of Leadership <laughs> to Megatron and then Megatron became the new Optimus Prime yeah. he's like I'm still running packs now <laughs> Rodimus just started calling himself Optimus yeah Optimus. Exactly. Optimus. <laughs> yeah. which is kind of another issue I'll probably bring up at the end of the video with my issues with uh, Captain Falcon it's far less like in depth but yeah we'll get to that at the end of the video all right so yeah so everybody pretty much universally hates like the donald blake years of thor so it's kind of weird that that's like the route they wanted to take with the new thor because it's stupid <laughs> like mm -hmm. i'm okay with like a lot of stuff with the characterization of the female thor like, I kind of like that she's, you know, she uses Mjolnir a lot more efficiently than Thor. And that he's just kind of a warrior. He chucks it and it comes back to him. Whatever. I find it really odd that she's a trained martial artist. Like, she can compete with him, like, hammer to axe. Like, battle style. Like, I, I'm cool that she's as strong as he is, that she has all his powers. Just, like, he should be more skilled. He's a thousand years old. Does nothing but fight all day. Yeah. Trains with fucking. <laughs> Even when he wasn't a skilled fighter, yeah. he trained with like fucking Captain America and became like a good fighter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like he's like, that's generally hard. a really solid like. Of all like that top tier level comic book characters, he's generally up there. You know, he's a warrior first and foremost. It'd be kind of like if somebody just randomly gained the powers of Wonder Woman and could fight as her equal. Like, it doesn't make any sense. She's a super trained warrior. And, they're probably not. You know, Jane's obviously not. Um, yeah, it'd be like if Lois Lane just randomly like, put on the it. tiara, <laughs> spun around and became the new Wonder Woman and could beat the shit out of Wonder Woman for no fucking reason at all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I just generally don't like her. I don't get why she has, like, the mask on her helmet. Like, that's not a power of Mjolnir growing extra armor. 
I think that was just for, you know... I get it, but it's just, yeah, like, it's well, the, <laughs> just the circumstance of why yeah. it happened in yeah, canon. It's like the stupid. plot getting in the way of, like, power set. It'd be like, well, I don't want people to know it's me. But it's like, the biggest and the fucking stupidest issue I have with the entire thing, though, like, outside of just why, is, what the fuck, Odin? <laughs> 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 like, alright, so first and foremost, the serpent just respawned apparently <laughs> he pressed x and respawned so he's back and like odin's just like i can't pick up mjolnir for whatever reason <laughs> well can i take up the enchantment fucking no i didn't try <laughs> <laughs> i need to get that hammer back can i tell who's under the mask I don't know, I only have telepathy and the ability to see everything. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently I couldn't figure out who she is. And then you just have like Freya is just like I don't even know. It felt like someone's mom wrote this comic and she like was divorced from that person's dad. And like she just hates men. Because <laughs> like literally every man in that comic is written like either a raging like sexist or a complete dumbass. <laughs> Yeah, it was over, man. I got to be both. <laughs> like, oh, I don't think Aaron knows about Tatana. Uh, all right, so yeah. Oh, you gotta hear this. This is funny. So when the female Thor goes to Earth, she fights the ultimate dumbass, absorbing man, and he's like, "I used to like Thor. At least he was the manliest guy around." And then, instead of like standing up for herself and beating up the absorbing man. Titania, the absorbing man's wife, knocks him out, and she's like, us girls gotta stay together. And then she also just gives up and goes to jail. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, the absorbing man. The guy who was just going to kill a bunch of children, like, two years ago in the comics, is apparently just, like, married to a feminist saint. Like, yay, female hero, high five, let's go to jail. <laughs> the fuck is that <laughs> and then like apparently Jane Foster also knows like secret magical rocks on employees like that was the obvious red herring that it was supposed to be Roz and then people were like you can't just introduce a character and then like introduce her as another character like that's fucking stupid like yeah oh, never mind it'll be Jane was, uh... <laughs> All alright but I'll give Aaron a chance to speak get her opinion on and judges. But I do have to say, my theory on Bearded Thor is looking more and more true. That the more beard Thor has, the more power he has. That's my theorem. That's why old King Thor has a full-on beard. The Thor that fought all the Beyonders and did better than Starbrand had an even longer beard. <laughs> like, he needed that power to exceed Starbrand's infinite power. So, yeah, Bearded Thor gains power from his beard. It's a known fact. Uh, Alright, so what are your guys' opinions on the, the all new Jane Foster? I, I'm just going to call her Goddess of Lightning. It's weird. I don't know why they just call her that. I mean, I, I'm just. I, I'm, you pretty much said all the same complaints that I have with it. It's just. <laughs> it just wasn't written well. The fact that they gave Thor as a title is just ridiculous. Yeah, like, alright, it was obviously built around. They wanted to, like, use it as a marketing ploy. Yeah. Like, who is the all new Thor? Yeah. <laughs> Especially when, like, we have She Hulk, She Thing, Thor Girl. Thor Girl. And just all these other, like, I, I found it really names. stupid when they were, like, they made a big point about it. Like, don't call her She Thor. Miss America. Like, we only call her She Thor because you gave her the same fucking name as another character. Like, I would have the exact same issue if you had another guy named Spider Man. That's why people call Miles Black Spider Man. <laughs> it's like Spider Gwen. It's like, yeah. do you know what they call Spider Like, what she calls herself in her own comics? Is she Spider Woman in her own comics? Or I Spider think so, but everybody refers to her. I think everybody refers to her. Well, I mean, I mean, the name of her comic is Spider Gwen. Yeah. So obviously, that's what people are going to call her. Yeah, I think that she's the Spider Woman. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> I, I'm not a fan of She Thor. <laughs> the fact that it's Jane Foster is just God damn it. Like, and wasn't she just randomly blonde when yeah. she became Thor? That's yeah. A power. I. I. It's just dumb. 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 <laughs> like, alright. 
another issue. Like, Eric Masterson picked up the hammer and he did gain the powers of Thor. Why didn't he call himself Thor? He went by Thunderstrike. You dicks. Why did Beta Ray Bill's face just, like, slam in and become a human? <laughs> <laughs> like, no one changed appearances other than Donald Blake, who is actually Thor, but Odin stripped him of his powers, and that's why he was a crippled doctor on Earth. You fucking dicks. Read the comments. <laughs> I'm telling you, oh, there's a precedent. Like, no, there isn't, you fucking liar. Read this shit. <laughs> like, Eric Manson looked like a fucking douchebag. Who, who would want to look like him? He had, like, a giant ponytail. Like, he was very 90s, and it was horrible then. So, Aaron, what do you think? <laughs> um, originally, I liked the idea of there being, you know, a female four. And I defended it up until I actually, like, was like, wait a minute. <laughs> like, after I, I, uh, I saw the, the video that you watched about um, Jane Foster being Thor, um, I, that night I was just like, you know, like, Thor is still around. It's not like, it's not like, because what... From what I was thinking is they were making Thor, like, Thor himself, Thor be like this entity that, oh, if you have Mjolnir, then you're automatically Thor, but yeah. Thor as a person is still around, and he's just <laughs> calling himself uh, the, Odin Odin, the, the Odin son, and it's like, but that, that, that there's really no difference, you're still Thor, you're Thor yeah. Odin son, so that doesn't make any sense. So there's a lot of inconsistencies about the comic that I am just like, that. Eh, that's really not written well. Like, I mean, and it sucks because, like I said, I like the idea of, you know, there being a female four, but you can't have female four and then have... Yeah, regular Thor. Regular Thor. You still call her Thor. Yeah, like I mean, like it, it makes no fucking like, sense. Like, like yeah. I told Travis, you know, I was. God damn it! I'm giving away my secret identity. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Whatever. His name's Travis. So what? Like I told him. Like, 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 like I told Judge the other day, I was like, um, you know, it'd be one thing if they called her like the Thunderer or the Goddess of Lightning. Thunderer. Thundra, whatever. Like, like if they, oh yeah, if they right. if they gave her like some kind of alternate <laughs> name to Thor, well. little Miss Sparky. Shut up. Well, they, I mean, like, uh, like that. What was they wanted to call her Th uh, Thorita? I think it was Spider Man. <laughs> Thorita. <laughs> oh my god. Even even I would have gotten pissed about that one. Like, like, well, I mean, you have name Rita. <laughs> I know, but. There's a precedent. There you go. There's a precedent. <laughs> <laughs> At least they were, like, related. So it was All right. Like, Here's one of the biggest questions. Like, there's two ways I think this could have worked. Either, A, you give a character like Black Widow, who you like, ah, you don't know what the fuck to do with her story. Why doesn't Thor get injured in battle? And everybody tries to pick up the hammer. And obviously, you can't have Cap there. He can pick up the hammer. And everybody tries to do it. And then Widow actually picks up the hammer, gains the powers of Thor, and she does Thor's missions while he's injured. You don't have to call her Black Widow Thor. She could just be Black Widow, Goddess of Lightning. Or, the far more intelligent way, just write a fucking comic about a female character and make it important. Not Miss Marvel, the new one, and she's just, like, hiding from her parents. Like, ooh, I'm sure you're gonna read that in three years. <laughs> like... Make a relevant comic with a female character where something important happens. Or the easiest way to do it is to team her up with somebody you know whose comics are going to sell. Like if you wanted to do Sif, make her team up with Loki and do Sif and Loki in their adventures. Like somebody you know can sell comics and put her with them and then do like a twofer kind of thing. Like mm -hmm. make her established. I think the, people interested in her. I'm going to do a video on that later, like, kind of my thoughts on it. Because I think the era of the, you know, 12-page comic book is kind of coming to an end. I think people just don't see value in that. I think going towards graphic novels is the way to go. Yeah, And yeah, I think absolutely. maybe even going back towards, like, Journey into Mystery style comics. Or, like, Tales of Intrigue, where you'd have, like, three different character stories in one graphic novel. I think that could work. Like, you could really sell, like, a Sif... 
or whoever the hell you really want. I mean, you want to sell Black Widow because Black Widow hasn't really gotten comics to really sell. Even when you teamed her up with like Winter Soldier and stuff, who also, to be fair, has a hard time selling his own solos. But like they work really well together. They're really cool. I mean, there's stuff you can do, but I guess we'll see. I mean, I think the way they did it, just being really stupid in this comic, like poor characterizations, just being like, oh, it's a title now is a really stupid gimmick just to be like, oh, it's a mystery. Everything around, like, the female Thor being Jane Foster doesn't make any sense. Like, why does she speak with an Asgardian accent? Is that a Thor power? <laughs> <laughs> Thunderstrike doesn't do it. Beta Ray Bill doesn't. The fuck? Yeah, I, th I just, I think that there's just, like I said, there's so many consistencies and plus, um... Yeah, you know, they're giving her all of these characteristics of the original four, but like it doesn't make any like you said it doesn't make any sense because she's an entirely separate person. We all know who I mean, you know, yeah. everyone knows who Jane Foster is. Jane Foster, the regular person, doesn't speak with an Asgardian accent. She doesn't have blonde hair. Yeah. Back in the comics right now, she has cancer, so she has no hair. <laughs> yeah. And. Like, so it's just, it, and it's weird that all of a sudden it's like, oh, well, now you're basically like Thor with boobs. <laughs> yeah, like, I guess we'll kind of end this part too, and I'm just going to kind of give my quick thoughts on uh, the Captain America, the Falcon being Captain America. Generally speaking, I like it, and I dislike it for two kind of weird reasons. Like, on the disliking side... I don't know why, but visually, it just looks really weird for him to be flying and have a shield. Like, it's, <laughs> they're attached to, like, his arms, and, like, how the hell is he blocked with a shield? Not to mention, he has vibranium wings, so what does he need the shield for? <laughs> it's kind of weird, like. And the other major thing I don't like is that everybody in universe treats him like he's Captain America. <laughs> which is really weird, like. To I clarify, guess, he means treats him like Steve Rogers. Yeah, like. Like, his word means so much and stuff, and, like, no one ever treated Falcon like that. Like, he was a founding Avenger or something. Like, ah, oh, Captain America said. It's like, you, you do realize it's a different character. Right? Like, it's just really weird. Like, it's not like the President of the United States, like, Steve Rogers was impeached and now the Falcon is roamed in. It's like, all hail him. Like, it's just, it's really weird, like, the, the reverence, I should say. Falcon seems to get as Captain America like he means something now but when he goes back to being the Falcon in six months like fuck that guy <laughs> like, it's just really weird to me I do like the costume though and, like his look like I really like the idea of him being you know that kind of Captain America where he still keeps his powers I really like how he has the vibranium wings I like a lot of stuff about him like I really like that if anybody other than Bucky was going to become Captain America, I like that it's Falcon. You know, that was his friend when he first got on Frozen. I don't think there's too many people that would say Bucky is not Cap's best friend. You know, I mean, some people will say Tony, but I just mm. assume that's people that don't read comics. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, if you weren't going to have Bucky do it, Falcon's not a bad choice. I think Agent 13 or possibly Black Widow could have been the other two choices. Yeah. Which could have been cool. The one thing I want to know is, because I don't think I've seen him in a while, did they change Heimdall in the comics to look more like Idris Elba? Anybody know? I, th I think so. Because, I mean, I wonder if that means they retconned out Heimdall being Sif's brother, or they're supposed to be half brothers, or it doesn't matter because you're in Asgard. Just fucking Odin had sex with a tree, and that created Sif, and he had sex with another tree, and that created Heimdall. <laughs> I don't know how an all father produces children. I don't know. I wasn't like there. Like Zeus, like has a headache, and Sif walks out. Yeah, like he flicked his nose. Like, <laughs> oh, here's Loki. <laughs> <laughs> Laufey gave birth to Loki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loki Lauvison. I know. <laughs> this is the first character that came into my mind. Yeah, I mean, there's like a lot of kind of weird stuff when it works with them. 
All right, so I guess we'll end this little part with or it's going to be rolling around. Or you think we're going to go back to the Odinson and all his glory? I can't imagine she's going to be around. <laughs> like, it's... Like, Thor himself is just too popular of a character. I mean... But I find it really weird that people are like, Oh, what if Natalie Portman becomes Thor in the movies? Like, yeah. Like, I think they got a better chance of signing Hemsworth to, like, a 10-deal... <laughs> 10-movie deal Get than a getting better Natalie chance Portman. Of growing a fucking apple tree out of my butt cheeks. <laughs> Yeah, or, because I know there's, like, this, uh, well, immediately when, um, oh, I can't think of his name, Sebastian Stan, the actor who's playing the Winter Soldier, he was, like, he revealed before Civil War that he signed for a nine-movie contract. People were immediately like, oh, Cap's gonna die, and we're gonna get, you know, Bucky Cap. And now people are starting to say, like, well, what if he died and Falcon became Cap? Either way, I'd kind of be all right in the movie verse, just because, yeah. Yeah, I think I can work. I would be pretty butthurt, though, if I did it with Jane Foster, Thor, and all of... Like, that's just such a horrible story. Like, I don't want to invading my comics or my movies. Like, that bad comic juju going into my movies. Yeah. I have no problem with them creating more awesome female characters. There is one other issue I've been kind of hearing around, and I think the champion of it is John Campia at AMC Movie Talk, where he was like, what if they just created new characters for the movies? And I'm like, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> I have to see enough movies, comic book movies, because I love them. I don't need to go see, like, Captain fucking Titties. <laughs> just because, like, you can't make a cool female superhero. Like, just do what they do with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. with Quake. Pick a female superhero that doesn't get, like, any love and put her in the movies. Like, Photon, M Monica Rambeau. She doesn't really have that much of a backstory. You could take her and tell it any way you want. Captain Universe has no fucking backstory right now. Take her, do something with her. Like, there's so many female characters that literally, like, show up in a comic, they don't do anything with it, and they get rid of them. Mm -hmm. Do them. Like, you have a whole slate you could easily do something with. Like, I think that's why I like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. so much. Like, it's really cool to see them take Quake, who was literally just, like slightly larger Murray Hill in the comics and she had a power and like completely go into her character so do the same thing I mean there's plenty of really cool character you could do or even if you wanted to pick some more well known that you know I shouldn't say well known because most people don't know him like Cersei of the Eternals or the Celestial Madonna Mantis or even picking up Gamora I mean I don't know how many movies you got Zoe Saldana for because, you know, Avatar's coming and they want to shoot all three new Avatars back to back. So I assume she'll be gone for yeah. at least a year. I mean, that sounds like it's going to be crazy. So, I mean, like, their characters, you still... I guess we'll wait till Ant-Man. All right, have a movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll talk about it when we do the review. But for that movie, I just... That movie's just <laughs> not looking good to me. It's not shaping up the way I want to see it. <laughs> I I don't know if, you know, Hope is supposed to be Jan. There's like an old lady who is yelling at Michael Douglas. I don't know if that's <laughs> supposed to be Jan. Like, are we going to get a wasp? It seems weird we haven't gotten one yet. I don't know why they didn't just do Hank Pym and Wasp and then just been like fucking grown adults about what happened with them. You can have characters get divorced. I mean... Quicksilver, spoiler alert, got shot to shit on screen. Like, you could have one character have a mental breakdown and strike his wife, then feel horrible about it, then get divorced and move on and be superheroes separately. You could do it. I believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do goddamn Scott Lang and then pull Hope Van Dyne, who doesn't exist in comics. You think you mean Hope Pym, the Red Queen, who's a super villain, out of your ass, and then crossfire of all the fucking villains in the universe and just be like he's the yellow jacket what <laughs> <laughs> well it's a power armor why I don't know it worked for Iron Man it also failed for Iron Man twice <laughs> people don't like Iron Man 2 or 3 I don't know if you realize that so I don't know 
Fuck you, Scott Lang. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm really hoping he dies and we just get Michael Douglas for like all the other movies, just old man Pim. <laughs> angry yelling at Stark. <laughs> Where are my slippers, you dick? <laughs> Going giant man punching the shit out of things. I swear to Christ, if Scott Lang turns into giant man, I'm gonna rip down the movie screen. <laughs> I'm just gonna run up and grab it. Like, no! <laughs> Fuck you, movie. <laughs> I want a de aging Ray. I want Hank Pym. I want Scott Lang to die in a fire. 